Welcome back to our channel everyone. If you're new here, my name is Monica and this is the Big Kid Monica YouTube channel. So today I'm actually trying something a bit different and I'm going to be using one AirPod to see if the sound quality improves a little bit. So we'll just try it out. If not, I'll just go back to the normal style. But today I'm going to be unboxing another Rainbow High doll. This time I'll be unboxing Series 1 Jade Hunter this one here which I'm very excited about I've been collecting all the rainbow high dolls lately so I'm very excited to have another one in my collection I'm nearly finished series one and I'm totally addicted so I want to get series two series three and then all the cheerleaders and then the winter ones are just starting to come out as well so before I start my video make sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you never miss any videos from me but without further ado let's start the unboxing <laughs> Well, first of all, I'll show the packaging. So as per usual, they look like this at the front and then when you turn them around, they've got this beautiful artwork and it's sort of lenticular in the rainbow as well. So they have a handle at the top and they're very, very easy to unbox. So it's just a bit of tape at the top and then you can slide the doll out and then basically just pull the accessories out too. And not forget inside there's a stand and the coat hangers, which I've forgotten before and then have to run to the bin and try and recover it all. So I'll just try and pull the doll out first. So I love how they put her in quite securely and pose her a little bit so her foot's slightly forward so she's in a pose. Um, the actual stuff they use to tie her isn't so hard so it's not damaging to the actual doll itself. And yeah, uh, I like the way they package it's lenticular and also her comb is there. So I'm just going to break her out now and then show her and then we'll do the accessories in the second part. So they're quite easy to get out. It's usually just a couple of snips. I've opened a few of them now, so I know exactly where to cut. Also, they have these plastic bits holding the hands in. So I just carefully get in the hole there and then cut through. So that's sort of the most tricky part. There's a bit of plastic, two parts that hold her head into place. So I'm just gonna try and get them out now. I try and cut as close to the base of the doll's head as possible so that there's no plastic overlay. I think I've just cut her hat a little bit. So this is her here. So this is Jade Hunter Series 1 and her fashion style is very grungy. Very much reminds me of Billie Eilish in a way, you know, with that green hair. Um, the hair always comes hard at the front so that the curls are styled and then really soft at the back and the hair is very high quality and it's very soft and it's very nice. So. With some of them, if they're not in a big set style like this, I'll comb out the plastic part, but I think with hers, I'll leave it in and then just comb out the back there. But this Jade in the series, she's known as being the makeup artist. And when you look at her makeup close up, you can see there's quite a lot of detail in her makeup at the eyelid and below her lashes. So she's also got pierced ears. Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, Sunny does, but then yeah, Jade's got the green earrings. She's got this cute puffer jacket. Her shirt says Anti Sparkle Sparkle Club because she loves sparkles, but her fashion sense is a little bit different to the rest of the girls from Rainbow High. 
and then she's got these cute spray painted shorts and then these little sneakers that say bow on them I think bow rainbow <laughs> of course it says rainbow so rain and then bow on the other side so super cute so I'm a big fan of these and her beanie it's wool it's quite high quality and I like that their faces have sort of this shimmery tone to them, like they've got highlighter all over them. So they look very, very stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cut out the rest of the accessories so we can have a look at those. So the combs always come in the box with the actual doll. So I'll just cut that out now. And the combs are sort of the same color as the doll, but like a sparkly version of it with a clear sort of resin. And that always matches the stand as well. So now I'll go back to the box. I found you can kind of just pull the clothes out like that, which is pretty handy. And then inside this part here is the stand, so I'll just try and open that up. So as you can see, it's the same material as the comb. I'm just going to set the stand up. I really love that these rainbow high dolls do come with a stand because most collectors now, especially adult collectors like myself, we like to display our dolls and we usually have to buy stands that don't often complement the dolls very well, but they just work perfectly. So you just pop up this part on. Like that. And then they also come with these coat hangers for the second outfit. It's a great idea because then with the Avery Styles doll you can actually get the wardrobe which I have and it has it comes with clothes but it comes with room to hang up other other fashions and that sort of thing. So I think it's a great idea that they come with the hangers because then you can add them to the wardrobe if you have it or if not you can sort of do your own makeshift thing. But my wardrobe is pretty full now so I'm looking forward to when the deluxe one comes out in Australia so I can have a bit more room to hang all the stuff. Maybe I'll do like all the season one fashions in this wardrobe and then all the season two into the new one. I don't know. We'll work it out but those are the hangers. They match their colours as well. So here are the clothes. So because this company, MGA, also made brats, it's kind of the same premise as you get the main doll and then you get a second outfit with it as well, which I think is a good idea because it increases the playability of the doll and the sort of versatility of each doll that you can change up their outfits and then when you have more of them you can share them between all the different colours and mix and match which also works very well. So I've just unboxed the top which says rainbow and it's got an R on it and then another big oversized jacket and the detail on there like you can see there's little clips and buckles which is a little bit more high quality than the current Mattel dolls. So MGA has really stepped up and I think in response to Bratz and with how popular Bratz were and are now, they're trying to make something that'll live up to that and I think they definitely have. Rainbow High is a very smart concept and having the TV or the YouTube show that goes with it is very, very smart. I'm just trying to get the last little bits of the plastic off of the jacket. So I'll just hang that up now, I'm just going to see, so I usually do the top and the jacket on the triangle hanger and then I do the lower half of the outfit, the pants onto the clip hanger, so like that. How cute is that? It reminds me very much of the early Star Mattel dolls that had outfits that were so high quality that you could put into the wardrobes. Now I've just got to get the pants out. And they match the jacket. So 
So the pants are the same material as the jacket, they say rainbow high on the sides, they have a gathered bottom and a drawstring, which I think it actually works somewhat, but it's got an elasticated waist. And so when you put that together, look how cute that looks. The only thing is with the wardrobe, you can, like they come with these little boxes where you can put the shoes in. Mine are pretty full, so I think these shoes from Jade are going to be like separated or loose, I should say. So now I'm going to pin up the pants like this. There we go, now hang up too, ready to go into the wardrobe. So finally, here are the shoes. And then another pair of sneakers in the series Jade wears a lot of sneakers, so it's perfectly in keeping with her character. And so these are a really studded light green and white pair of sneakers that will go perfectly with her tracksuit. So that's her there. We put her on the stand. She looks absolutely adorable. Like that. So easy and so quick to unbox and then she's ready to go for display, for play, for whatever you'd like to do. So thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing me unboxing another Rainbow High doll. The Jade Hunter. I've been wanting her in the collection for a while, so I'm so glad that I was able to get her. And I hope you're enjoying these unboxing videos because they're new for me, and, but they're heaps of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.